Okay, picking up where we left off at. We have 2x minus 5y times 3x plus 7y. So we use the distributive property. We will have 2x times 3x plus 2x times 7y minus 5y times 3x minus 5y times 7y. Now, 2x times 3x, we know will give us 6x squared because this is x to the first and x to the first, so we add the exponents. So we have 2x times 7y, which will give us 14xy. Now we have negative 5y times 3x. Negative 5 times 3 will give us a minus 15, and y times x we will put it in alphabetical order, which will be x times y. Negative 5 times 7 will give us a negative 35, and y times y is y squared. Now we have to combine the like terms. We have 6x squared, 14xy minus 15xy will leave us a negative 1xy, but we will just write it as negative xy, and then minus 35y squared. And that is our final answer. Now, we go on here to C. Now, with C, we will have 4x times 4x plus 4x times 7 minus 7 times 4x and then minus 7 times 7. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 4x times 7 will give us a positive 28x. Negative 7 times 4x is a negative 28x. And negative 7 times 7 is a negative 49. Now we have to combine like terms. If you notice, we have a positive 28x and a minus 28x. So they simplify out to 0. And that leaves us 16x squared minus 49, which is our final answer. Now, one thing I want to show you here is this with C. This is what is called the difference of two squares, the uh, binomials. Whenever you have two binomials that are exactly the same, except for one has a subtraction sign and one has a plus sign, all you have to do is multiply the first by the first and the last by the last. So if we would have took 4x times 4x, that would have gave us 16x squared. And negative 7 times positive 7 is negative 49. Now remember, you can only do that when you have a bino two binomials, and the only difference is one has a subtraction, one has a plus. Okay, now we go to D. We will have 4w squared times 3w plus 4w squared times a negative 5 plus 2 times 3w plus 2 times a negative 5. Now, 4w times 3w gives 12w <coughs> cubed. 4w squared times negative 5 is a negative 20w squared. 2 times 3w is 6w. And 2 times negative 5 will give us a minus 10. And if you notice here, there are no like terms, so we are done. Are there any questions? Okay. We'll go down here to E. Now, with E, if you notice here, this is all multiplication, even though we have our two parentheses. Now, what I would suggest you do is multiply the two parentheses first. Then whatever their answer is, multiply it by 2. Okay, because remember, multiplication is commutative, which you know means that it doesn't matter the order. So let's just start with these two parentheses and disregard the 2 for right now. So we will have 3x times 5x plus 3x times a negative 4y minus 2y times 5x minus 2y times a negative 4y. So 3x times 5x is 15x. 3x times a negative 4y is a negative 12xy. A negative 2y times 5x is a negative 10xy. A negative 2 times a negative 4y, negative 2y times a negative 4y is a positive 8y squared. 
Now we do have some like terms here. So we have 15x minus 22xy plus 8y squared. Now under normal circumstances we would be done, but remember that 2 we had up here. We have to multiply all of this by the 2 that we had. So this would give us 30x minus 44xy plus 16y squared. And we're done with that problem. Okay, yes? At the beginning, why wouldn't 3x times 5x Oh, I'm sorry. You are correct. It's supposed to be 15x squared. So that would be 30x squared. Thank you. A lot of strange things happen live. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at F. We have the same, basically the same situation as E. So I still would suggest that you multiply the two parentheses first, then multiply everything by 3x. So we will add x squared times 2x plus x squared times 5 minus 2 times 2x then minus 2 times 5. So now x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. And then x squared times 5 will give us a positive 5x squared. Negative 2 times 2x is a minus 4x. And negative 2 times 5 is a negative 10. And as you see here, we have nothing to combine, but we have to multiply everything by this 3x. So 3x times 2x cubed is 6x to the fourth. 3x times 5x squared is 15x cubed. 3x times a negative 4x is a minus 12x squared. And 10 times, a negative 10 times 3x is a negative 30x. And that is our final answer. Now, we move on over here to the next page. We have multiplying larger polynomials. Now, this is where we get into the case where I told you all why I don't like teaching FOIL. Because FOIL would not work on these problems. Because FOIL only works when it's a binomial multiplied by a binomial. And this is not a binomial times a binomial. It's a binomial times a trinomial. So we would take 2x times x squared. We would use the distributive property. Plus 2x times 5x. Plus 2x times a negative 6. Now that took care of the first value. Now we would take negative 4 times x squared. And then negative 4 times 5x, and then <coughs> negative 4 times a negative 6. 2x times x squared would give us 2x cubed. 2x times 5x is 10x squared. 2x times a negative 6 would give us a negative 12x. Negative 4 times x squared is a negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times 5x would give us a negative 20x. A negative 4 times negative 6 is a positive 24. Now we combine our like terms. We add 2x cubed. 10x squared minus 4x squared will give us a positive 6x squared. Negative 12x minus 20x is a negative 32x. Then plus 24. And this is our final answer. Okay, now we go on to the next value. We have B here. Now I'm going to draw a little line here to separate this because that problem was kind of long. So now B, we have a trinomial multiplied by a trinomial. So look, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this up here. Because I think I would have enough room if I write it up here. So we will have x squared times 3x squared plus x squared times a negative 5x plus x squared times a negative 2. Now we would do a negative 2x times 3x squared, a negative 2x times a negative 5x. 
looks like I ran out of space here. So then we would have negative 2x times a negative 2. Then we will go on to the 4. It would be plus 4 times 3x squared. Plus 4 times a negative 5x. And then plus 4 times a negative 2. Now we multiply this. x squared times 3x squared will give us, I'm going to write it down here, 3x to the 4. So that would take care of this. x squared times a negative 5x will give us a negative 5x cubed. To take care of this here. x squared times negative 2 will give us a negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times 3x squared will give us a negative 6x squared. It's 6x cubed. Negative 2x times a negative 5x is a positive 10x squared. Negative 2x times a negative 2 will give us a positive 4x. 4 times 3x squared will give us a positive 12x squared. And 4 times negative 5x is a negative 20x. And 4 times negative 2 will give us a minus 8. Now we need to combine the like terms. We only have one term that's taken to the fourth power. So that would be 3x to the 4. We have a negative 5x cubed and a negative 6x cubed, which would give us a negative 11x cubed. Next, we have negative 2x squared, 10x squared, and a positive 12x squared. So that would give us a positive 20x squared. Then we have 4x and a minus 20x, which would give us negative 16x. And then we have our minus 8. So we're done with that problem. Are there any questions on that problem? Okay, now, we come down here with example 7. It says, let f of x equals 2x minus 3 and g of x equals 3x squared plus 4x minus 7. Find the following by hand. So this is f times g of x. So this is the same as saying f of x times g of x. So what we would do is, in one parenthesis, we have 2x minus 3. In another parenthesis, we have what g of x equals 2, which is 3x squared plus 4x minus 7. Now we would do it exactly the same way how we did the other problems. We have 2x, I'm going to use a parenthesis this time, 2x times 3x squared plus 2x times 4x plus 2x times a negative 7. Now we would do the minus 3. We would have minus 3 times 3x squared, minus 3 times 4x, and a minus 3 times negative 7. 2x times 3x squared is 6x cubed. 2x times 4x is 8x squared. 2x times negative 7 will give us negative 14x. Negative 3 times 3x squared will give us negative 9x squared. Negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x. And negative 3 times negative 7 will give us positive 21. Now we combine our like terms. We will have 6x cubed. 8x squared minus 9x squared will give us a negative x squared. 14, negative 14x minus 12x is a negative 26x plus 21. So our final answer would be f times g of x is equal to this value here. Now, if we look here at the next problem, well, were there any questions from 7a? Okay, now, when we look at this next problem, we have basically the same problem except for x is replaced by negative 2. So we could take our answer here and substitute in negative 2 wherever x appears. So it would be f times g of negative 2 is equal to 6 times negative 2 cubed minus negative 2 squared 